Uh, hey, what's up, you guys? This is A bringing you a walkthrough of the Splinter Cell Double Agent uh, video game. <laughs> Obviously, um, this will be a walkthrough that I will be uh, hopefully uploading every other day at least. Um, I haven't been online lately due to the fact that I've been stuck with school, work, uh, late work specifically. Um, I had to get a whole bunch of that stuff in, and luckily I, I did except for one class, but it's alright. Um, anyways, this walkthrough will be uh, obviously on normal difficulty as you guys just saw. Um, this isn't, you know, zero KO or anything, this is just a regular walkthrough. I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm kind of rusty, you know, at it, so... Um, and, uh, I, I think that's it. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy, and, uh, see you, uh, hopefully either next part or just next game. I right, see you. Why? Should I be? <laughs> Let me lead the way! Lambert, it's time for you to retire. They're just trying to oppress you, so look after you. What are we doing here, Lambert? Our sources indicate some suspicious activity in this area. But keep in mind, this is a simple reconnaissance mission only. You can enter the power plant grounds through the water intake at the bottom of the lake. Details on your offset. Consider it done. You can count on us, sir. There are two guards patrolling. Get rid of them smoothly. There you go, Agent Fisher. Just like you would have done it. I thought we were just here for observation. There have been slight changes. Lambert, what changes? Customs have informed us of the arrival of several Islamic terrorists in Iceland. All the leads point at this facility. If that's the case, Junior needs to be pulled out of the mission. He is not trained for this. He is a liability for both of us. Impossible. We're in too deep. The mission must go on. Just cover him. Help here. The current in this fence is live. Now, quick, come here and help me.
I can see the plant. Lambert, you see that? There is no way we can go in through the front. There's got to be a way through the roof via the ventilation systems. John, I have a special mission for you. Roger that. You have to disable the ventilation system by the main entrance to let Fisher infiltrate the plant. Roger that. to the gate? Yeah, why not? It's 1977. Please don't hurt me. Ventilation disabled. Fisher, you have ten minutes. Well done. You stay put and cover Fisher. Not that shit. Front is now clear. This will be much quicker. Let me go and check. I repeat, your role is to cover Sam. Hold your position. John! John, answer me! Sam, jump through the vent before it closes again. What do we do about John? All we can do is pray that he doesn't blow your cover.
He did not break. No, but he died, and this was totally avoidable. to disarm this missile. There's no choice. The good news is that we can sabotage the launch control, but the missile will explode 60 seconds, off. max. Let's do it. Okay. First, you'll have to open the missile's access hatch. You should find the manual release valve below the hatch on the missile's surface. Now hack into the missile's onboard launch computer and jam the release system. Do that, then get the hell out of there. I broke the news when I pulled him out of Iceland. He didn't take it well. Nobody would, losing their own flesh and blood. And he'd never be the same again. They say if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Well, Sam didn't die. He had nothing to lose anymore, so he took the most dangerous mission of his career. That's how he ended up in Ellsworth Penitentiary. He was treated the same as anybody else. No better, no worse. It was no midnight run, for damn sure. He didn't need much help to look like hell, not since Sarah, his daughter, was killed. You hate to see a good man fall so far. Is that all you got? Come on! Me, I hope this mission wouldn't let him pull himself back together. We needed him. Prison. A hell of a place to save a man's life. We put Sam in Ellsworth prison, not because he was a thief or a murderer, but because we needed him there. One of the prisoners, a man named Jamie Washington, was suspected of having ties to a domestic terrorist group whose name had started coming up on Third Echelon's radar. We needed to know what they were doing, and that meant getting someone on the inside.